Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This is episode 4. Last time we properly explored the grasslands, but like barely any of it. <laughs> like look how much there still is in the grasslands. Uh, there is a lot here. Uh, we got our first taste of Chocobo's, uh, Bill's Chocobo Ranch and some of this region outside of Calm. And we're making our way back through now that the Shinra lockdown has lifted. So we've got some towers to activate and some discovery quests to get into. Uh, I am so excited to continue proceeding through the main story, but there is so much that is being given to us right at the beginning here that I do want to check out and experience. So we're going to head on out. We'll get to it today and we'll travel 500 meters that away to activate a tower and then do this discovery mission. So let's call our Chocobo. Let's go for a ride. For the most part, Outside of the ridiculously confusing and emotional story beats, this is going to be such a feel-good playthrough. <laughs> and in the times where we're not feeling good, we will be very overwhelmed. <laughs> but still feeling good. But uh, just loving what we're being presented with, and I've been thinking about Rebirth every time that I am not playing it. I'm just waiting to be back playing it again. It's like torture to be away from it. Like, life and its responsibilities? I want to be riding a chocobo in the grasslands right now. Alright, here's this tower that we came across earlier. Oh, and we can now activate this stop that we saw when we were last here. Yeah. Let's fix this bad boy, there you go. Well done, chick. If only I could pat you while being on choker back. Uh, and now... We go up on this tower. Straight in. God, Cloud is so fast. He's genuinely crazy how fast he is. Just getting used to how fast all of our characters are. Look at that, dude. The Stardust Ray is crazy. Just running around as red, being like, yeah, I'm going to initiate uh, the starry apocalypse above your your head anytime. Definitely worth the two ATB gauges. <laughs> as intended. The bird flew into the tower and proceeded to stop existing. What do we got? What's around here? Nice. Couple of intel things. Um, really close by. And this is the great thing. We're like, alright, we want to go here. And then we've got a few things we can complete along the way. On our way. Oh, the music. Alright, here we go. Fiend intel. This is going to be us exploring the open world segments of the game every time. It's like, all right, we're going to head over here and just getting so excited by all of the things that crop up. Any more of, uh, like, any chance that I have to explore more of the world, I'll take. All right. Fiend Intel. Wailing Weed. Wrong this place. Rare Mandragora variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. It may look like nothing more than a wriggling plant, but don't be fooled. Mandragora roots are capable of functioning as legs, allowing them to actively pursue sunlit locations as they shift throughout the day. In case you didn't know, chocobos seem to adore feasting on the bean seeds. I can't help but wonder what this variant might taste like. Further research may prove beneficial to 
any chocobo raising activities. So for the sake of your feathered friends, mow those mandragoras down. Lovely. Thank you, Mai. I think you have to, like, wait for her to finish talking before you get into combat. Otherwise, she'll just be, like, talking to you while you are fighting. And I find that to be incredibly distracting. Also, I'm going to have to remind myself when I record my other playthroughs to put my webcam back in the top left spot that we've had. So I'm just going to fix that now. I would love if you could kind of choose where to position like the subtitles that come through. That would be really nice, but alas. So prevent enemies from using quick nap. Uh, stagger and defeat all enemies within the time limit. Gotcha. Well, let's go for assess. I got you. Mandrakes. A rare Mandragora variant that grew nearby a life spring. Extremely timid, it will panic even at the slightest tremor. Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it, and inflicting enough damage will cause it to nap, but hitting it with powerful offensive abilities will wake it up again. Okay. No. Don't do... Okay, well, it's already used Quick Nap. So how do you prevent it from using Quick Nap if doing damage to it makes it do the attack? I guess you've got to just wipe it out with elements real quick. Okay, well. Yeah, might you try again? We can retry. That was a very impressive battle just now. Well done. Based on the battle data you provided, I was able to generate a new virtual combat trial. Oh, and I helped too. Feel free to try it whenever the mood takes you. Go on! Just when you think that uh, <laughs> one of them is bad enough, there's now two of them. And just wait till part three where there's three of them. All right, let's retry. No quick nap. There should be an accessibility setting to turn off Chadley and my... <laughs> go straight for fire. No, it's on now. now it's pressured. And finish it off. There you go. No napping today. Nice. And now next one. Look at Barrett just running with his gun in the background. I'll show you what I can do. Wow. Well done. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so it's now completed. I like that you can retry it when you've already done it as well. You can just do ha some harder battles against enemies. <laughs> Let's go, big old owl. Take me to where I need to be. Pretty great that you can find them naturally by being guided or you can use the radar. All right, we will now make a cushion. There you go. This item now requires fewer materials to transmute. That's nice. Uh, let's see what we've got here. We now have the enhanced stuff that you can make, which is nice. So you can actually make that with a copper bracer. Oh, I see. So because we don't have the copper bracer unequipped, you can't make it there, but you can make it as it's already equipped to Aerith, and then it will give her the stat boost straight away. 
Um, the windmill gear, it looks like we actually have to make it. We need a Quetzalcoatl Talon, and that's fun. Apparently we lack the required materials for Beast Bones. Oh, right, I'm reading it the wrong way. Why is it flipped? That's so weird. Usually you would have, like, you've got two out of 29, not you have 20, like, you need two and you have 29. It's, like, flipped around, so I was reading it wrong. Alright, well, we'll save up. We'll try and find where we can get the Quetzalcoatl Talon. God, that owl's gonna get very dizzy. <laughs> That bird going crazy! Settle down! <laughs> there we go. We've freed it from its eternal torment of spinning. Jesus. It's like, once he finishes scanning, I can be released back into the wild. Region Intel. Nice, we got part two. Flora and Fauna of the Grasslands. In stark contrast to the barren, Marco-ravaged outskirts of Midgar, the ecosystem of the grasslands remains relatively unscathed. Streams flowing from the central mountain range nourish the lush meadows below, which sustain a diverse range of species. Ranchers and farmers also benefit greatly from this bountiful environment. Vast wetlands make up much of the southern region. In days past, boats and chocobo carriages were a common sight, but as most goods are now transported by sea or air, traffic through the wetlands has steadily decreased. Moreover, as an immense man-eating serpent dubbed Midgard Sorma has been sighted in this area of late, few dare to brave the old trails. Even those capable of evading the gargantuan snake may yet fall victim to one of the many inescapable quagmires. Cool. Alright, so that tower gave us some intel, and now we're moving ever closer to our discovery mission back at Calm. So let's take this lovely climbing opportunity. We saw the yellow markers very handy in pointing out where we're able to act, uh, to actually get up instead of going the long way around. materials. Ruby. Uh, cache location, the Thresher Waterwheel, area of interest discovered. You may find useful supplies hidden among abandoned facilities and settlements. Open all the chests in a location to mark it on your map as complete. So it shows up as... On the map, it shows up as this. Zero out of two. Gotcha. This one, at least, is the right way around. Zero out of two, not two slash zero. <laughs> God, traversal feels so much nicer being able to, like, climb. It's going to be so hard not to just hum all of the music to this game. <laughs> My experience with playing Final Fantasy VII growing up, or just Final Fantasy, or any game in general, would just be in my room, you know, my escape from the world, my little happy place, and I would just hum the music endlessly. means that my mother can perfectly recall the music from the game <laughs> because my my humming just really made sure that she'd never forget it Yes. 
Keep it together. Aerith like literally has a teleport. It's wild. Can you take over for me? Cloud always running out of MP. We'll probably find a rest point soon. We're a bit low on ethers. I should buy some. Back in my day, in the original Final Fantasy VII, you didn't get to buy your first ethers for so long, and they cost 1,500 gil. So I'm assuming our standard way back into calm here is taking the air raid. Shelter. And now that things have died down, I'd like to talk to Broden again and see if we can get some more lore from him. This might even be what the discovery is. Considering it looks like we might come out above the inn uh, with the discovery. And oh no, guys, we're going back to calm. That means I have to listen to the calm music again. Oh no. Going back to a location with some of the most beautiful music ever written and conceived in our lifetime. Okay, the discovery is not in the Great inn. news at this hour. Avalanche, the anti-Shinra terrorist group responsible for the bombings in Midgar, is believed to have taken shelter in calm. Security forces performed a thorough sweep of the town during which time it was placed under a temporary lockdown, which has since been lifted as of this report. The suspects remain at large, though public security is confident they will be apprehended soon. Local insurgents are believed to have played a role in their escape. The company will conduct a separate investigation to identify these collaborators and is encouraging residents with any information to step forward. Information which leads to an arrest is subject to a reward. Very good. We're getting radio broadcasts from our own timeline now, which is very nice. And talking about alternate timeline stuff, this is probably very late. Well, it's not that late, but a few episodes late. A few episodes late to address this uh, is... I got really confused because I was very overwhelmed and excited at the beginning of the game. And when they were saying, oh, there's still a fugitive with a buster sword at large, I was like, wait. The alternate timeline avalanche group have someone with a buster sword? But Zack and Cloud are right here. That doesn't make sense, that's weird. And I thought that they had someone in their group, but then I remembered that I was like, oh, it's because Zack was obviously being hunted by Shinra and had only just recently escaped, so they would have like radioed in saying, hey, fugitive with a buster sword still at large, that sort of thing, you know? I don't know why that I got the two mixed up, but it just like, it was worded at a weird time. Like they were wheeling out the survivors and then saying there's someone still at large. So I just assumed it was part of the same group at, at that time. Just one of those misunderstandings, but we know now. Avalanche, the anti -Shinra terror I do kind of wish that the radios would uh, chill out a bit because <laughs> they do repeat uh, quite quickly. Hello, welcome to the inn at Calm. Where's the, uh, where's Broden at? We'll rest. Replenish our uh, HP and MP. Does it cost guild to rest? That seems like it was free. The company will conduct a separate investigation to identify these collaborators and is encouraging with any information to step Hello? <laughs> what is happening here? I can't even remember the last time you invited me out for lunch like this. So, how much do you need this time? Would another 300 gil cover it? Um. 500 would be... She's literally his sugar mommy. And then I can get fuzzy wuzzy. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> Dead. We got uh, the Kate Sith plushie. We got the Chocobo chick. We got the fat Chocobo. We got the ghost, the Cactua, the Moogle, the bomb, the Tonberry. It's all there. Their fancy meal. That's so good. Okay. So many conversations to listen in on. And 
uh, hey guys, don't mind my, uh, my dog. Um, oh, there he is. Oh, we're back. I guess that means you managed to shake Shinra. Oh, that's all he has to say. You're welcome to stay the night, if you want. Okay. I guess we'll have to wait and see if anything happens with that. Um, something that I wanted to check out, actually, is Incom. Yeah, we want to go down here, because you can see that there's, like... I guess we have to wait until night time. I know we'll be safe in Calm. It's only been ten short years since Calm was reborn. Because they had, like, the jazz band playing at night. I wonder if they'll have, like, an actual night cycle, if you can visit locations at the night time, you know? Broden not doing so. Didn't you used to have a crush on him? Said his eyes looked sad when he smiled or something. Oh gosh, don't tell my husband. <laughs> Most agree that they suffer from acute Mako poisoning, but others theorize that they're also victims of secret experiments. Personally, I think there's something even more sinister behind their existence, but I don't have any proof yet, and I'd better be careful making claims involving Shin. Guys, we found Alan Wake. Is it just there me? He is. Not doing so well. I think he's been under the weather recently. Didn't you used to have a crush on him? He said his eyes looked sad when he said. It's only been ten short years since Calm was rebuilt. And he ends up getting raised again. God, it's like the the camera is pretty fucking jarring at times. Like it can be pretty bad. Like look at that. Like, depending on where your camera lands in a shot like this, it can be, like, lit like this, but then if it's here, it's, you get, like, this, like, harsher daytime lighting. And it doesn't do a, like, nice little soft transition. It'll just go, yeah! It's like hitting, uh like hitting light and dark mode. And I don't remember it being like that in Remake. I think the camera still behaves in a similar way than it does in Remake. But I just don't remember it being so, um, violent. <laughs> so, it's a little bit unfortunate. There's the ruby red poster again. I can't believe we got arrested in the middle of our date. I saw these odd people in black robes wandering outside Midgar. That was just the spark our date needed. <laughs> like you guys did? Who's this? We got a photographer. Imposing yet welcoming. Beautiful yet haunting. How it keeps the outside world at bay while engendering a sense of community. A striking work of craftsmanship, too. Every detail was seen to with such care. Snaps. Hello there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you? For posterity. Straight to posing, dude. <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? So, apparently there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. Photography side quest, scenic spot. Okay. <laughs> sure. Go and get a little scenic shot. Do you go there and take a photo in photo mode, or what? The outside world. Share your scenic photo. Yeah, you, okay, you gotta go and find it. Gotcha. Alright. Anyway, if you know any other camera-worthy subjects... Yeah, Tifa. Are we able to go out here yet? Yes! We can go out of town. 
cool. All right, we're going to Midgar. <laughs> Straight away. We're going back to Midgar. Uh, I know we're not able to, but we can at least go and check out this tower. And a bunch of graffiti. <laughs> Interesting. Crashed car. I thought this was going to be like a roadblock. Turns out it's just like a weird part of the road. I can keep going. Alright, we're going back to mid -car. It'll probably be a closed checkpoint. Like, conveniently, the road is blocked. Because I think Midgar is out um, this way. Yeah, here we are. It's closed. Midgar checkpoint. Can't risk attracting Shinra's attention. But I'm I'm riding a Shinra Chocobo. It's fine, guys. I'll think I'm one of them. Alright, so we did Calm's Tower, uh, and that gave us some locations down here. Calm is currently on high alert. Can't Please ride my Chocobo through, through Calm. Quit slacking. We haven't got all day. Do not approach them under any circumstances. Uh, <sighs> Been no end to the overtime ever since the box decided. Alright, time for us to go find this discovery mission then. Oh, we've got side quests opening up here. Question mark quest. I think there's more to calm over this way that we haven't even gone through yet, if we can access that. Oh, I was starting to worry. Oh, the mayor of Calm. I thought you were here to fix them. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up. How can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Mako Pipeline. It's sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman, though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? A merc from the Undercity that's potentially unreliable? Why do I want to say Kyrie? Our town technicians laid up in bed at the moment, recovering from a fiend attack. We asked Shinra to send someone to fill in, anyone who knows the work, but we haven't heard back. Fortunately for us, that mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. It's your standard Mako pipeline, really. Carries a portion of Midgard's yield straight to us. We'd be lost without him. Hence, my anxiety. We need it fixed ASAP. Our tanks got some left, but we'll soon be running on fumes. Makes me sick to my stomach to watch our supply slowly dwindle like this. That's rough, man. But hey, good opportunity to wean yourselves off that poison. <laughs> okay, now that one was fun. That's funny because... There's a lot of, like, optional encounters you can have in the original game. You talk to NPCs and give your opinion on Marco to the citizens. And depending on what you do with Barrett in your party, you'll get, like, positive points with your relationship with him. You will? Capital! Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs? A simple, it's coming along, would suffice. Alright. We are working as hard as we can to get the power grid back online. But I think you're the only one who's made a name for themselves in the Undercity. So you don't know what he was talking about? 
Um, well, I think that exact pipeline, we've actually run past it. Because we saw a pipeline. Yeah, like, we've we've run along here, and we saw a leaking pipeline. We're working as hard as we can to get the power grid back online. Alright, Discovery. Oh, it's a board. Oh, wow, okay, cool. Merc for hire, lifeline in peril. Uh, a rare card lost. Bartender with a losing streak. Calm the rusty arrow. Got beat bad at Queen's Blood, but the real stinger was when I had to give up the rare card I'd staked on the match. I'm looking for a pro to win it back on my behalf. If you think you've got what it takes, drop by the bar. And a clever fiend of some sort's been preying on my livestock of late, and if I can't put a stop to it, my farm's doomed. Seems clear, a run of the mill hunter won't cut it, so I'm in the market for a merc with solid tracking skills. Nice. Uh, so we actually got like bounty boards as well. That's pretty fun. Breaking news at this hour. Hey, how you doing? What? Hey, Mister. You a winner? Some say. Awesome. That's good enough for me. The name's Vash, and I could really use your help. Truth is, I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a licking, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, think you'd be able to win it back for me? The Chocobo and Moogle one. It's rare, and the one high-value card in my whole deck. It was the only thing getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks, and that slimy bastard. He... He stole it! Hey, I get it. I'm a bartender, too. You... You are? So then you know. She's so tough, it can be... We'll take it. Don't worry, we'll take the job. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby spate in the right hands. Mind if we go around? <laughs> Aggressive starting a match. He's gonna let us keep the card as a reward, obviously, right? Alright, another match of Queen's Blood. Happily, sir, happily. I think I found out how to win at Queen's Blood, regardless of how you play. Push into their territory. <laughs> I just removed their entire ability to play the rest of the game. It's over. <laughs> it's over. You'll lose. You'll lose. It's my game now. <laughs> that is so funny. I can literally just encroach on their whole entire territory here. Um, okay. I've already won. Um, so I can end the game whenever I want at this point. Or we could just, uh, keep the good times rolling. <laughs> if you will. 
Uh, so yeah, we found out how to win. Um, literally just to push in and then they can't play cards. That's a strategy. Oh, you're passing the turn? Vash, why are you passing the turn, dude? Vash, why are you passing the turn? Play the game, man. Why won't this dude play the game? That's weird. I love that we actually ended up tying on the... Um, we actually ended up tying on the bottom one, which is pretty funny. Alright, satisfying to fill the board. A little bit of overkill there. Uh, march straight in, stake your territory, and uh, reap the rewards. Okay, that's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil, no problem! That's the guy you got. Virgil. The one who took my card. He works at the clock tower. Mind kicking his ass for me? And when you're done, come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Got this great recipe. I've been itching to try again. Vash and Virgil. Okay. How's about a match? Give me a holler when you're ready to throw down. Okay, so the clock tower. to step forward. Wow! Congratulations! If Avalanche really is... Oh. Oh. Something good has to be in store for me. Wait, how do I get to the clock tower from here? Because we've been to the clock tower before. I think I go through... Patience is always rewarded, right? Up here, isn't it? Yeah. It took me long enough, but I finally went and got myself a cat. <laughs> Our candy uses locally produced cherries and chocolate. Free samples of it. Oh, look at this dude. Means beers. Uh, care for a match? We're here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. So, Vash has resorted to this, hiring people to win his games for him. <laughs> Fine, but word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks. Let's see what you got, Virgil. No rewards. We do win the card, so... Oh man, um, definitely... Mulliganing, mulliganing this turn. This is bad because I got a lot of twos in my um, a lot of twos in my hand at the moment.
Ooh, the Cactuar is coming to play, okay. Two Alpha Dunks was a bad idea. For sure. Alright, I got a plan. But we'll see where he puts his next card. That was where I was ex. Ah, oh, yes, he didn't put it there. Nice. Good. I've now, I will now block him from getting there. So now he can only put one more card down. Okay, here we go. Um, damn, that puts me... God damn, that puts me two behind there still. That is a pain. Okay, so... I might be able to win. Or at least tie in the middle. Okay, hang on. Because that'll go to seven. Alright, yeah, I should be able to win. Oh no, I can't, because I have to put the crab there to get that to level three to get what I want. Whoa, okay. Um. Oh, that'll put that to a six. Yes, okay, well, I'll do that. It's a shame I won't be able to put that down, but I can do that. Oh, good, yeah. All right, I'm about to win. We have secured the victory. So now I'm at 5-9. Nice. Very even board there. Like, <laughs> I was trying to push in on him, but then realized I needed to reinforce my stuff. It was all part of the plan. Victory. Oh, damn. I really lost? It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and I are definitely <laughs> gonna have to play again sometime. But, uh, not today. Gotta run. Hold it. Aren't we forgetting something? Yeah, Tifa, you tell him. <laughs> right, the card. The one I won off Fash, right? Oh, shoot. Which card was that again? Oh, crap, I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. So, this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? No, seriously, I, I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. Maybe check with him? A Merc's job is never done, am I right? Damn, so we actually found that card shop, but we couldn't go in, so there you go. I love how there's a place for Cloud to rest his sword in there. Very nice. Now, it seems to me, with the way that this map says Clocktail Plaza... Um, oh, I see where that's on the map. Okay, there you go. So when I, it's grayed out, I'm like, oh, if we've not been there, that's actually just the higher level. Hot Even the fluffy palm is packed with cream. Cool off with some chocobo ice cream. Our ice cream is made with fresh milk straight from the local farm. All right, what are we doing around here? I think that what we've got is we can go take a photo. Um, but what we're going to do... 
These are our three remaining side quests. We'll go track down Thorin. Then we can go do the farmer's request. Then we can go through here and do these. And then go to the maintenance warehouse. And then we can also do all of these. And then I might be able to complete the grassland stuff. We'll see how we go. And move on to the... across the marshes with Pico. There's so much fresh produce to... Mama? Better start it. Um, hello? <laughs> Actually, we're a pretty good match. Um, this is for him. Hey, quit it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think that this is uh, straight up their way of confirming. <laughs> This is straight up their way of confirming, hey, don't worry about the Tifa and Scarlet slap fight. It's in the game. If it's going to be right here between a couple of NPCs, Tifa and Scarlet will absolutely have a slap fight, and it's going to be one of the greatest mini games we ever experience. <laughs> oh, Red, careful. We just charge it in. Hello? Oh wow. Hello. Fellow card collector, I see. He plays. I, I think he plays games. Hey there. You folks buying or selling? We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle card. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that feud. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. <laughs> the so, angle is so funny. Ask what Queen's Blood is as if I've never engaged with it before. And purchase cards. What's Queen's Blood? <laughs> then bust out those cards, boy. <laughs> I won't give it to anyone except if you're a <laughs> you're a gamer. Legendary card. It's gonna be our first legendary card if the dude allows us to keep it. That's a great starting card. Much better than the security officer to start with. Because you're not wasting that, like, um, left-hand side. Raise power by one for each other enhanced allied card. So every time you enhance another one of these cards, that's going up by one too, just by being there. Incredible. More Queen's Blood? Say no more. We're doing this whole quest line. Um, uh, Mulligan? Um... I can get that three on the field, I'll play with that. Oh, you think, huh? You think, do you? Ooh, yes. 
hopefully, if you don't put a card in that middle middle. Good. That's mine now. Never mind. <laughs> no, it's not. Stolen. Okay, I'm about to shut that bad boy down with this one. Good. Okay, I've won. I win. I uh, I win the game. You lose the game because you suck. There we go, baby. Just for good measure. I want to make sure that he also doesn't have the highest on this route either. <laughs> Rob him. Alright, there we go. I win, Thorin. And that was with holding onto my level 3 the whole time. <laughs> Boom. I'm glad that there isn't, like, rounds, to be honest. I like that it's a one-and-done fight. When we got the card, skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A game. Yeah, all right. He's done. I don't need to purchase any cards. Actually, I might eat my words. Hey, Let's have a look and see what he's got. Your deck at all? Uh, cards. What do you got? Because we haven't even... Oh. Oh. Remember when I said we don't need cards? Dude. <laughs> Look at that face. Um, I changed my mind. He actually sells legendary cards. Um, also, these boost packs are pretty sick. You can see what they come with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me. Give it to me, baby. Um, I want to collect all of them, but I also need to save my money up for other things. So I'll just get the two legendary cards. Because we earned the respect. Got the gill, I got the cards. Would he, he, would he have sold us those before the fight as well? I like that he's like, I'm not parting with the Chocobo and Moogle card, but here, have Titan. Alright, let's have a look at these cards. Um, so, oh man, so Fat Chocobo is a, whoa, so that's five power, a three star card. Look at what it powers up. Holy crap. Creates a surfeit of positions around it when played. So I think it only powers up, like, your allied cards, so it won't power up the other side of the field, despite that, I think. But that's a lot of power ups. And a lot of power. This one is two. When played, raise position ranks by two. Wow. So you can straight up just have um, two rank immediately. Also, dropping that screamer on the field just like BAM. <laughs> but it does take three. Uh, we're definitely putting Titan in our deck. I'm going to have it replace uh, one of the Alpha Dunks. Uh, so you definitely want to have a good, healthy balance of ones, twos, and then maybe like one, three. The crazy thing about 
Uh, oh no, hang on. This one doesn't raise power. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, this one just psh, plants cards on the board. This would be a really crazy one to pull off. Very situational. To try and even upgrade something to rank three. I mean, it would combo with Titan really well because you would be able to get to point three much quicker. I might actually have it replace the magic pot and see if we can get the Titan Fat Chocobo combo. Get that to a level three, throw that bad boy down. Some high power there. So we got two security officers. Um, oh, I should, I should actually consider putting the Cactuar in because of the power that it gives me plus uh, powering something up. That should definitely replace um, the... Mm, I might actually remove one of the moos and do Cactuar instead. So instead of being stuck with another rank two, we're gonna rank one. More consistency in the hand. That's deck building, baby. All right. And then I might be able to have the Chocobo and Moogle card if we win this, uh, if we win it. If this dude is so kind as to give it to us. But while we're still out in the field, uh, let's go and do the farmer's request. Okay, speak with the farmer to hear the details. There's quite a few steps in this quest. Let's go take a look. Honestly, at the moment, I'm just stuck in, like, observing the character's animation mode, where I'm just, like, picking a character and just watching the way that they just decimate the field. <laughs> One character at a time, just, what? How does my character do that? Hey, glad to see Shinra hasn't got you yet. Seeing as you're here, mind help me with something? I'm Oliver, by the way, owner of this farm. Got fiend trouble. Every night it comes after my livestock. At least I assume a fiend's to blame. Think you could find and deal with it? Not much, save the bastard's smart as hell. Managed to evade every trap I've set. Even hired a hunter to get rid of it, but that was a bust. The ecosystem here is something special. Worth protecting. Don't want Shinra messing it up. And I'm not afraid to say so out loud. One day, some like-minded folks came around. They put me in touch with Broden and Avalanche. Impressive the way that committee is able to connect people. The Avalanche extended law is so good. I'm glad that it's in here. Appreciate it. That your dog there? Mind if I pet him? I don't, but he might. Who's a good boy? It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me he's not all bark. Hey, you know, your pup might be able to track the fiend's scent. Maybe try oh, sniffing dude. around the scene of the crime. A nice dog. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other dogs are hanging around. There's so many dogs. That is hilarious. All right, Red, let's sniff them out, shall we? It's been several days since the attack, so the scent isn't fresh. Other animals have come and gone as well. This won't be easy. Hmm. Think a chocobo could handle it? <laughs> Their sense of smell is indeed impressive, but this trail is still quite poor. Though if you wish to try, I won't stop you. Red's voice is so good. When the red question mark icon appears above your chocobo, it has detected a scent that warrants investigation. Oh, <laughs> red. Oh my gosh. He's got something. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I still have a faint impression of the scent. 
Together we can find the beast. <laughs> See the way that the Chocobo just looks at him after? Like just, queer, I found it. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Oh. Red getting surprised by it is so good. I love that so much. Is it what? We're gonna have just some really great character interactions during this. I love it. Oh, we got some alpha dunks. Let's try and avoid those. We're on a quest right now. You wanna track it from here on out? No. The Chocobo has led us this far after all. Red is gonna be one of my favorites of this whole game, and I already knew that. Because like Cosmo Canyon is one of my favorite locations and story moments in the game, period. And uh, it, there's a particular thing and quest in the game from the original that I'm looking forward to the most that I will cry. <laughs> I will cry. Uh, happily cry. I just cannot wait. But I will wait, because I have to. But I'm in no rush to get there. My time will come. It's currently my phone wallpaper, like literally the moment that I'm waiting for. That's how excited I am. Alright, where are we going? There was Ooh. a struggle here not long ago. can help guide the bird, ensure it doesn't stray. <laughs> yeah, I, I can, so I can still guide it. Don't worry, I can still do something. I want to go and we can go and check out that like cathedral looking place in the distance. Where is that on the map? We're in uncharted territory over here, actually, which is pretty fun. We're going faster than the goddamn scent. <laughs> oh, hang on. There's a chocobo stop here. Hold it, scent. I've got work to do. With my little choco chick. We're going out quite far. And so we have this giant enemy crab. There. Ooh. Look at this. It is a beast. It's an actual fiend. All right, Red, you ready for this battle? You can at least join the battle, Red. Oh, whoa, okay. White Terror. Oh, it's like... Sh Spin Swipe. A ferocious grasslands wolf living apart from all known packs in the region. It was once left grievously wounded after losing a battle for dominance, but was able to survive by sheltering at a nearby life spring. It gradually amasses energy over time, dealing damage or blocking its attacks will cause it to lose energy. Once all its energy has been depleted, it will become pressure. Okay. So we can just, we can get a beast pelt from it. Look at me avoiding its attacks. Take over. So it's my turn? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One more shot! 
Whoa, okay. Oh, I cannot see anything. I cannot see. All good. Oh, that's... Wah! Hello? That's not an ex ear splitting... Huh? <laughs> oh, whoa. You just wiped the whole team. When your current party members are in dire straits, you can call upon your other comrades to execute a synergy ability once per battle. Open the commands menu with X and press backline command to select an ability. That's cool. United refocus and overfang. That's sick. You can do an emergency synergy. Raising limit levels. Certain synergy abilities can raise the limit level, which will unlock more powerful limit breaks. For example, Cloud can perform cross slash at 1 and Ascension level 2. You can also unlock level 3 limit breaks through your character's folios. We finally get level 3. Okay, I need to get a phoenix down on a character stat. Don't give up. Almost at stagger, there we go. We're at stagger, which means I can quickly use phoenix down on cloud. And then limit break, we're gonna do blood fang. Nice red. Hell yeah. Okay. Have I got a mega potion? I've got mist potion to all allies. There you go. We're back. We're back in the goddamn thing. Alright, hang on. Uh, synergy abilities. Aerith needs to do two more things before we can get firework blade to happen. Deal with that. I'm coming. Oh, it's building up energy. One more. Nice, perfect block. Let's go. Um, let's do a. Sorcerer Storm. Go for it. Let's do this. All right, now we should be out of synergy. Firework Blade. We got cancelled. They cancelled the thing with his with his howl. Quick, finish him. Do not get killed. There we go. Cross slash just missed. This is ridiculous. To what, dude? He cancelled my firework blade, the bastard, and then my limit break didn't even hit him because I was too far away. I thought it would hit no matter what. Jesus. Alright, summoning. You asshole! Oh, we all died. Dude, we're so close to winning! Tifa, Barrett, get in here! Tifa and Barrett just literally watching from the sidelines. This is why I wish you could switch out party members on the fly. Can I just say that wolf is uh, hacking? <laughs> oh, you're not immune during synergy abilities. How much of a pain in the ass is that, dude? I was like so excited to finally get that off too. Yeah, Aerith, exactly. Aerith has exactly the right attitude here. On you. I'll show you what I can do. This one's for you. It's your turn. Get 
Guard against attacks to greatly increase vengeance gauge. Press square to deliver a counter strike. It's wild that's an ability. It's kind of interesting. Oh god. Yep. Okay. Here comes literal fire burst from hell. Damn nuked. <laughs> and can you take over for me? Alright, we're, we're getting it. We're getting the firework blade now. Right. Let's actually get it this time, Aerith. Yep, I know. Don't interrupt my cool ability, please. <laughs> I'm doing cool stuff. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Here's the stagger. Killed in the middle of the limit break, dude. Didn't even survive the end of the limit break like it usually does. <laughs> Defeated. What? It's my sense of smell. Since my imprisonment in the Shinra building, it hasn't been the same. Before, I wouldn't have had any trouble tracking that scent. Now, though. <laughs> Perhaps this bird is willing to take on an apprentice. Awesome. Dude, look at all the bones here. It'd be eaten. It's got a nest, which is so peculiar. Brought us to a nice calm ocean. Alright, uh, we're gonna go swim to our next objective. <laughs> Alright, looks like we can return. Um, that coastal lookout, that's the little cathedral looking place. Um, on the way back, we may as well go here and go and do the fiend intel. Roam this place. Rare Toxarath variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. The pungent odor that these fiends release when threatened is so effective at driving away predators that their population has exploded. This particular variant is extremely dangerous. 
capable of spitting toxic fluids on its prey before attacking in mass. Such tactics allow them to hunt creatures as large as alpha ducks. Imagine something like that creeping into every corner it can find, and you'll understand why they're considered such a menace. With any luck, the data we collect here will save us to find the way to their numbers. No, I'm cheering for you! Yeah, she 100% still does the same. Um, I was seeing if it would interrupt. That's wild. So Mai keeps talking even when you do combat. Avoid being poisoned and pressure an enemy. Okay, how do we pressure the rat? Exploiting its elemental weakness. Cool. Uh, does anyone have ice? <laughs> anyone got ice? A rare Toxorat variant, its extremely aggressive nature and overwhelmingly potent venom allow it to remain undaunted in the face of creatures multiple times its size. Um, who has ice out here, baby? Uh, Barrett has thunder and electrical impulse. I don't think I, I don't think any of us have ice here. Take the lead. Oh, actually, no, Cloud should have fire and ice. Hang back. Oh, he's gonna die before we even get there. Oh, don't attack it, guys! Don't attack it! Don't attack it! Don't attack it! No, red! I was so close to. Objectives yet remain. When you find out a little too late that you need to pressure an enemy, All right, retry. Venerat was massacred. Bro, oh, I love actually doing the victory stance like in combat as well. It's so good. -na 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 -na. Alright, let's report back to Oliver. You got him, did you? Made that bastard pay? Let's go. And I bet you were a big help too, weren't you? <laughs> You'll be singing a different tune when you see what I got for you. Here. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget you. Changing gears a bit, but uh, I heard Broden's not feeling so hot. If you swing by calm again, mind checking on him? Yes, your relationship with Red 13 has deepened. We gotta do side quests to get better friendship with our characters. I love that so much. Um, also, checking on uh, Broden, absolutely. Um, let's just actually fast travel uh, back to Calm. Um, I guess we can fast travel to this spot. We will do that because we can turn in the card while we also check on Broden. Oh, currently on high alert. New quests are now available in the grasslands. We're also going to go back to the bookstore so I can level up my folios. There, there we go. There's a quest for Broden now. So I was like, I wanted to follow up with him properly. Where the wind blows. I heard that you've been feeling under the weather lately. Word gets around fast. Didn't expect you to worry about me. But since you're here, can I ask you a favor? A friend of mine wanted me to help her fix one of the old Republic windmills, but I'm in no condition to do that. Do you think you could instead? I think we should help. If not for him, we'd probably be back in Hojo's lab. Broden and Cloud have the same eyes. 
You know, headaches and dizziness. Probably my misspent youth. Paying the price for it now. Hindsight's 2020. Headaches and dizziness, huh? Anything else? Sometimes I hear voices, I guess, calling for me, urging me to go somewhere. Sounds pretty crazy, saying it aloud. Reunion. Bro's got Genova cells inside of him. He used to be a soldier. Either that or he was an experiment in some capacity. Bro's got the J cells. I was a company grunt years ago. But when my parents died, I got out to take care of the family business. Been running the place ever since. A company grunt, huh? With Marco eyes? Suffering from potential degradation? Hearing voices of going to a particular location? The reunion is at hand? I'll spare you the grisly details and just say they stole my life from me, my family, my home. Is that reason enough for you? But I thought Calm was your home. Not anymore. This isn't the Calm I grew up in. My Calm was destroyed by Shinra. And this? A soulless imitation. But I stayed. Because I won't let myself forget what those bastards took. <sighs> Living in hate can poison a man. What I absolutely adore about this game and just the remake project in general is it takes locations that are pit stops and it makes them living, breathing, alive. It makes you care about these locations. When you go to Calm in the original game, it's the first pit stop on the world map and it's magical and wonderful and you're like, wow, we're out here. And you go to Calm, you get the Nibelheim flashback, which is the highlight of Calm. You get a couple of supplies and you go. You talk to some people, right? And you share your opinion with them and their opinion on Marco usage and you're, you're gone, you're out. The way that the remake project, this trilogy, because it's no way that they're gonna dip in quality by the third game. So I talk about the whole trilogy future thinking here. The way that this whole trilogy aims to take pit stops and flesh them out and give you named characters and quest lines associated with them, their own motivations against Shinra, their own like backstories, just to make this feel so genuine instead of just, imagine if, this game was like you're in calm for five minutes and then you're gone and then you never think about it again it would be so weird the way that it makes it feel like a living breathing location is just incredible and we're so early into this project you know so early into this game where there's countless all right i take that back not countless there's countable locations. <laughs> There's many, many, many locations in this game that I'm just so looking forward to walking through and having that exact same sort of treatment. It's amazing. Thank you. My friend's name is Mildred. You should be able to find her somewhere around the old settlement, out on the cliffside. Look for the windmills. And what's good is we actually have the crafting uh, recipe for the windmill gear already. Um, and this is another thing that's quite nice is everything is feeding into everything else. We just need a talon and a few beast birds. <laughs> Time to go return this card. I forgot about the Midgar pipeline as well. We should have done that. Gotta check it out next. Breaking news at this hour. You did it! You got my baby back! To be honest, this isn't the first card I've lost. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Yeah, there you go. It's probably better off with you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. 
How about I fix you two your drinks? So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. That's so nice. We get to have a drink with Tifa. It's the Cosmo Canyon. You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although apparently my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender! Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night with bells on. I promise. Oh, I don't know how. I don't, dude. That got me. <laughs> That's so good. Very unexpected too. I was like, oh, I'm doing this side quest about cards, and then like all of a sudden, it's like starts going into Seventh Heaven, and like the way that Tifa reacts, and like she made us that drink at the beginning of the remake, you know. <laughs> And we got to have that together. I know. I met someone truly special. That's so nice. Breaking news at this hour. Okay, so we got to keep the card. Unexpected emotional little hook there about Seventh Heaven. Um, let's see. Um, this one, we definitely want to get rid of one of our security officers and we'll just put that one in there instead. Nice. Very nice deck of cards. Our relationship with Tifa has deepened. Very good. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do, back out into the world, we should go and check out these intel objectives. Which is also near a side quest. Um, we'll be very, very grateful for the absolute frequency of these fast travel points to get you to the specific zones you want to be in, to. Gotta follow this owl, because there we go, to our next life spring. How do I get up here? Should have followed the bird. It's like, damn, only had one job and I failed. <laughs> Particle effects, baby. <laughs> I was like halfway through on the intel. Cloud, that data has revealed an intriguing sight. The nest of the Quetzal Quattle, a rare bird native to these lands. So rare, in fact, that few have ever seen it. This is a prime research opportunity for us. That unlocked our way to get the Talon, which we need to do for the other quest. Dangerous Fiend located. All right. Dude, I never expected to hear the live stream music 
so early into the game. It was like such a genuine and pleasant surprise. So happy. Alright, well, we're here at the maintenance warehouse, so we should do this. This the warehouse the mayor was talking about. <laughs> Place looks fresh out of Mercs to me. Did someone say Merc? I know you. You're that Sector 5 chick who was shitting on Avalanche. What, is that Cloud? <sighs> but I was sure this wasn't your turf. Don't tell me. You're the Merc the mayor hired? Kyrie doesn't work for free. Or cheap. <laughs> How either of you get any work is a mystery to me. <laughs> We're here on behalf of the mayor. Man wants a progress report. Yes, progress is what I've been making. And I'm just dying to tell him all about it. But the thing is... Uh, I haven't actually, like, done anything. I need more parts. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun if we looked for him together? Hell no. I could <laughs> really use a guiding hand from a vet in the industry. Like you! I swear I'll do anything! Anything? Fine. I'll help. If you stop calling yourself a merc. You, sir, have a deal. Okay, so... These are the parts that I need. More would probably be better, but that number there's the bare minimum. Any questions? I knew it would be here. It's like, it's got Kyrie all over it. I'm like, I swear to God. <laughs> so, not surprised. You can probably find them in scrap heaps somewhere nearby. I mean, I know you can. Sweet! See you soon! I thought you were coming with us. No, I need to stay here and look for screws and bolts. The worst. All right, let's go look for stuff, shall we? The fact that she's just been sitting by the station doing nothing <laughs> instead of actually doing something. She's. I hope she, she has a wake up call of character development because she tends to be quite annoying, that one. I thought her grandmother, the Angel of the Slums, would have uh, taught her a lesson by now. <laughs> Security. Did you find what we need? literally took like no time at all to walk around Kyrie and you just been sitting on your ass you can probably find them in I mean I know holy mother of scrap metal way to go guys when we're finished that pipe will be good as new I bet we could even charge extra <laughs> now then follow me would you Let's not keep my money. I mean, the pie. Wait it.
Now she's excited to get to work. Goddamn Grifter. One of my favorite details of replaying Final Fantasy VII Remake once you... <laughs> once you actually find this uh, character in the main game and learn who she is. You can actually see her much earlier in the game. You start noticing her. Like, she's on the train, like, super early in the game. Which is really funny. Okay, the Moo. Herbivorous creatures that prefer grassy areas digging networks of tunnels that occasionally reveal springs of water. Their tails are too large to be concealed, always poking out holes this creature digs. Hitting them with powerful attacks makes them flinch and drive them out of their burrows, pressuring them. Hey, look, it's the Marco leak. I love that, like, we were just walking around and we saw it. We're like, whoa, okay. And then it's actually related to a quest. You can fix this. Huh. You shouldn't underestimate an undercity girl. I can spin garbage into gold and lift. This will probably deepen the relationship with Barrett. Whoa. Oh, dude. It's one of those enemies. Look at it. It's mouse, dude. Yes. Hang back. This crazy ass mushroom that just shoots a million pellets. Knocks a cap. Fungal creatures that mutated due to Marco exposure. Very clever that it's right here. They spew highly poisonous spores to weaken enemies. They turn said foes into new parasitic hosts. I'm poisoned. No escape. Take it from here. Hold back from down now. E. If you're silenced, I still am able to do wildfire, do a fire attack. God, what a cool design. Marco probably mutated up. Look at Mr. Know-It-All. <laughs> okay, that ought to do it. Mission accomplished. And my reward, secure. <laughs> Let's go and grab a drink. Celebrate the birth of our great mercenary humor. Forget our deal already? Uh, <laughs> Come on, fellow Merc. With my brains and your brawn, we can clean up. You're not your fellow anything. Stop being such a tight ass. Help you! I can talk you up! Please don't. Huh? <laughs> More. Since you're the only Merc in town, guess this one's all hey, yours! Get back here! <laughs> yeah, I'll do it! You've got this! Let's do this! <laughs> Seeing Aerith attacking from a distance, you can see her attacks going through is so fun. Oh, 
it from here. Then it will be locked. Synergy ability time, baby. Let's go. Overfang. Throw him at him. <laughs> Asshole! Let's do this. So good. I love seeing those synergy abilities. It makes you want to put like different characters together all the time. Let's go see Fritz. The fact is, she actually did repair it. She did that herself while we were battling. Picky eater. Okay. okay, guys. Gloves up. Rare level Gloves up. Variant identified. Commencing guys. Precious dagger and Observing defeat. Prodigiously powerful appendages. These impressive lights not only allow us to run down great a grev a, a grevicron a grevicon a rare levicron variant capable of spewing a toxin that transforms its quarry into a frog no because it does not have teeth it swallows stones to aid in the digestion of its prey Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. Frontal attacks will be ineffective while it's holding a rock. Hitting it with powerful offensive abilities before the rock is thrown will cause it to drop the rock and pressure it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Detrimental status effect, Toad. You have been turned into a Toad, greatly reducing your combat capabilities. In this state, you can only use standard attacks, the HP restoring Bubble Breath, and the Leapfrog ability. They've added Bubble Breath, that's cool. To remove the status effect, either use a Suna spell or items such as Maidens, Kisses, or Remedies. Um, hey anyone, we got an item of any kind? Um, we do not have Maidens Kisses. Cloud is now a frog forever. I'm actually... I'm actually kind of surprised that there isn't a... Um... Alright, okay, Barrett's a frog. Um... <laughs> dude. I'm very surprised... That there wasn't a... Do not get turned into a frog... Um... Thing. even pressure. Let me go! <laughs> Alright, well, I'm in a bit of a situation here. Okay, guys, go for the frogs, will you? Go for the frogs. Oh, God. There we go, we pressured. We staggered. Oh, nice. Cloud is no longer... Oh. Got Let's finish Red 13 is a frog. We get to see his, um, he's, that's amazing. Oh, he's a frog. 34 seconds left. Better not fucking make me a frog. Asshole. Get defeated. Nope, oh, nope, nope. No. Alright, we win. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. All getting turned into frogs. I like that we've got uh, new characters so we get to see their frog forms. I want to see Kate Sith and Yuffie's frogs. Awesome. Um, and now we're close to... Winged Lassitel... 
Macetillion of yore. Up we go. Oh, look at this. Nice big open arena. Classified foes. Once a specific number of life springs has been surveyed, the location of an especially powerful fiend will be revealed. Upon arrival, hold triangle to lure out your foe, but be warned, you cannot flee from these battles. Okay. So. Cloud, you have arrived in the lair of the majestic Quetzalcoatl. Make certain you're prepared before attempting to challenge it. Engage enemy, huh? I love that there's, there's two that we're missing, but this is level 22. <laughs> Alright. We're level 20. Uh, it's a bird. So, hopefully, us, these three can take care of it. Long range with Barret. We might want to do Barret and Aerith, actually. We could probably ground it and then Red 13 can lay into it. We're going to use this this party. Get off the bird. Let's engage the enemy. Oh dude, here we go. Boss battle theme, look at that. Oh, okay. I probably should have healed my characters before we did this. I forgot to do that. I kind of forgot to heal. So I'm an idiot. Got too hot-headed. Did not prepare. Okay, weak against ice. A great aerial creature that calls the grasslands home. This particular species has existed since antiquity. Its genetic structure remaining largely unchanged to this day. It commands lightning, driving away any who dare enter its territory. Inflicting enough damage by exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. Each time it moves between the air and ground, it will unleash a powerful attack. Okay, so it'll drop a Quetzalcoatl Talon, but we can also steal one. So we might be able to get... I wonder if it's, um... There's only one that you can get, or if you can get multiple. Don't overdo it. Follow my lead. Yeah, failed to steal. It'll be quite curious. Bring it home. I got this. Freeze. No, it will not stay still. Come on. You got this. Still keep pressuring it with the same element. There we go, it's pressured. I like how it stays on the ground, at least in the beginning, but we'll go in the air. There's the stagger, baby. Damn. Alright, we've done a quarter of its health. There's a way that we could just turn off Mai from talking forever. Would appreciate it. You ready? You're up. My turn. <laughs> Um, oh, who's got Shiva? I don't think we have Shiva with us, which would be very nice about now. Um, Barrett's got a summon too. Overfang, go! Oh, you get to see them do their synergy attack from a distance when you're playing as a different character. That's very cool. I got Chocobo and a Moogle. Come on! Get up! 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 Get up!
Oh, okay. There's multiple of those. There we go, staggered. Limit break, baby. You're out of luck. Finish it. We will rush to this. Finish it. Keep it up. You ain't gonna get away. Here comes. I know. We've got a free, which is the opposite of fire. Don't overdo it. I'll go for it. Yeah, do it. Building up to United Refocus. That's what we want to do. Give Stag it again, baby. Don't stop now. Hold that up now. This is now. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. 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 Give him what's coming now. Three. Want some more? No. United refocus Barra and Red 13 hone their focus temporarily partitions their HP gauges into three segments. Nice, so then they get to benefit from having two gauges. Moogle Trio, let's go! My pre-order materia. Moogle! Appear! I have... I have got Moogles. Alright, let's go. Summon abilities. What do they do? Hero's Ballad restores the party's HP and raises their synergy by two levels. And a powerful Moogle team attack increases stagger damage bonus. Do Delta attack. Let's go. I want to see it. Keep it together. Ready to together. All right. Watch and learn. <laughs> Maybe we should have done raising the party's HP. Oh. Here is Ballad. You ready? Nice. Get some Kodal defeated. Never had any doubt. Nice. Level 21. Confirmed. Cancel Quaddle defeated. Amazing work as always, Cloud. Your heroic victory over that vicious creature was a feast for the eyes. I suppose it falls to me to make my presence more tolerable. How do you? Self-aware, Chadley. Wait. Ah, now then, allow me to congratulate you on your victory over that beast. Chadley is literally self-aware. You were likewise able to obtain something of great import. The beast's talent. I suspect that it can be used in the creation of something astounding. Chadley, you created my... You're already like, oh, let's just turn her down. Where's the my voice volume in the settings, dude? Just... So we just need... Uh, beast bones. I would have expected to have those. By now. Uh, but that's awesome. We got that done. Well, considering speaking with Mildred will definitely mean that we're going to need this windmill gear. We may as well get those beast bones first. We're going to go back to calm because we'll speak to the mayor. Calm is currently on high alert. Uh, 
there you are. I heard everything from the Merc herself. She told me how you helped with the pipeline repairs. And sure enough, thanks to you, the Mako is flowing again. We're in your debt. Where's your Merc now? <laughs> I'm not sure. She left just as soon as I paid. For another job, perhaps. Guess that's what fame buys you. Plenty of work and never enough time in between. <sighs> Sounds like you still got competition, Merc. Before you run off, she set this aside for you. Insisted that her fellow Mercs be compensated. Nice. Your relationship with Barrett has deepened because it was a marker related questline. There you go. Well, it's such a relief to no longer be literally scraping the bottom of the barrel. Maybe I'll finally get a restful sleep tonight. I do like that all of the town and locations have like a mayor presence as well. Like there's an actual sense of uh, community and everything going on there as well. Fleshing out the locations. Uh, we're going to fast travel over this way to do this stuff because Moogle Intel seems intriguing and we can take a photo. Uh, we're heading up to this photo spot. We found our scenic spot. When you stumble upon a particularly scenic location, press square on the main menu to enter photo mode, then take a picture to capture the majesty on film. Once you are satisfied with your shot, speak with snaps again to be rewarded for your photographic efforts. So it's literally like, um, yeah, it's funny. Literally photo mode spots in the game. Should we be on our chocobos for this? You know what ruins the photo? A big photo sign right there. It's just, just a big old photo sign. You're like, oh, look at this amazing photo that I could get of the crew. Except there's this giant photo sign. And it is giant. Look at it. It's an eyesore. <laughs> you can see Midgar from here. You get Midgar and Calm in the one photo. You know what would be great? If you could hide that sign. Barrett and Cloud. Here we go. You gotta just position the chocobo so you can't see the sign. I took the photo. Does it work in the game? There it is. Open. You just have to open photo mode. I don't know if you have to actually take the photo. We took the photo anyway. All right, that's done. And we have a few things that we can do around here. Oh my God. The Moogle Intel is actually, oh my God, it's Mog. It's Mog. I see the mushroom. Oh my God, they're actually doing it. There you go. Once upon a time, this used to be an innocent little gold saucer mini game. Oh my god, they made it real life. Mog stools. Pop inside a mushroom shaped mog stool to get a peek at the lives of the fantastical creatures who dwell therein. And this is great because they've, uh, what's really nice about Final Fantasy VII Remake is they implemented the Moogles properly. Like, there's a lot of actual Moogle references outside of just Mog. You gotta feed it enough Koopo nuts so he can fly and get a mate and have a million kids. We're actually going in. Yes, enter the mog stool. What is waiting for me in here? Literally another dimension. Okay. <laughs> we literally just entered the new dimension. What the? to our Moogle Emporium. Though, I'm sorry to say, we aren't open quite yet, and I'm not even sure when we will be. <laughs> Those Mooglets are refusing to come back, and we can't do business without them, Kubo. 
Actually, maybe you wouldn't mind helping? The Mooplets are having too much fun to come back on their own, so I want you to round them up. And then we can open up the Emporium, and everyone will be happy, Koopo! Uh. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much, Koopo! This is so different. Remember when you were just a mini game and you were a lonely Moogle who wanted a mate and now there's a whole world of Moogle Emporium. Okay, chase the Mooglets around the field to lure them back to, into their Mog stool or catch them and escort them there yourself. Just beware their playful little tricks. Get hit three times and the game will end, Koopo. Imagine getting hit with a game over screen. Oh my god. Dude. This game is going to hit us with so many mini games. You're attacking me. So do I? Am I like... Am I pushing them in the right direction? Oh my god. They're going to bombing me. Because like... Chase them around the field to lure them back or catch them and escort them. How do I catch them, though? Ah, <laughs> oh, you fucking bastard. I rounded up one. That one's calling in airstrikes. What the fuck? How do you catch it yourself? How about that? Oh, God. Stop. Get in there. No, get, get in there. No! Get in there! You asshole, get in there! Alright. <laughs> Moogle asshole! I can't get hit once more. Stop bombing people, will ya? You're... Alright, I'm gonna wait for those bombs to blow up. Get in your pen. Wait, get in! You're bombing your friends, get in! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thanks so much, Koopa! Terrors. Koopo, now we can finally open the Emporium! Here you can exchange Moogle medals for cool stuff we found lying around. Everything's great, I promise! Moogle Emporiums. Returning all the Mooglets to their Mog store will grant access to a new shop at which you can exchange Moogle medals for a variety of enticing items. That kid, back in Sector 5, would be so happy. Helping open more Emporiums will increase the merchant rank, will expand their selection. We've got uh, eight Moogle medals. Um, we can get the Art of Swordplay um, and the Way of the Fist. HP up Materia earrings. Dude, they actually have Materia accessories? That's sick. That's a 30% increase as well. Wow. Um, and rubies and emeralds are expensive. Look at that rarity. We've found quite a few of these, though. We're like, we have 12 of each. Um, alright, well we're gonna get Art of Swordplay, because we will have Cloud in our party the most. Nice. Just so you know, there are six more mob stools out there, Koopo. So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Also, the more Emporiums we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's a win-win situation in my books, Koopo. Damn, okay, so there's Moogle Intel in multiple locations. <laughs> Jesus. Koopa! Can't catch me! Okay, so complete the stage to earn a Moogle medal. God damn. Choose a level. 
Please bring back all the Mooglets for me, Koopo. You're gonna make me do the same thing again. All for one Moogle medal. Strikes. <laughs> Bombing your friends. <laughs> right, now I understand the game. Now I understand how this silly little thing works. Get in there. It's my Moogle medal. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Do I get a Moogle medal every time I do that? <laughs> or just once? It just says complete it to earn a Moogle medal. If I, if I just complete it eight times, I can uh, get Tifa's thing as well, I guess. Um, what a wild time. All right. Have fun, everyone. I'm going to move on with my life now. <laughs> Jesus. Nice. We got a cachet location. The Jade Wind Hill. There's three cachets to find here. And uh, there's three windmills. So, which are... Who would have thunk? Another Moogle medal. Thank you. This game is giving you the satisfaction of like ticking so many things off your list like pretty frequently. You're like constantly getting met with that like exploration reward combination. Just ticking things off the list. It feels good. While also roaming a very beautiful environment. Got another Rimda Wave Tower. I get down from here. Let me down. Thank you. I can climb down here. Nice, there's one of the summoning stones because we've got to do the summoning stone. We got to so we can eventually take on Titan as well. God, and then we've got this segment to walk down as well. <laughs> Incredible. Um, while we have another side quest to do, 
Uh, we're actually going to head over there because we have got the beast bones necessary to craft that gear that should definitely be related to this quest. So that'll be a nice little thing to close off this episode with, is completing this other side quest. And then we should have the side quests out of the way, at least the ones that have currently popped up. This place is looking in pretty rough shape, Mildred. Did Broden send you? I'm glad for the company. Ain't she a sight to behold? A relic of the Republic of Junon. Shinra can't make them like this, let me tell you. I'm itching to scrape the rust off, get her moving again. Easier said than done, unfortunately. The rotor's missing a key component, one that's a bitch to find. <laughs> Which is where you come in. I'm gonna need your help to get me that part. So, what do you wanna know? How you know Broden? We go way back. Like, way back. The two of us skipped town when we were young, you know? Thought we'd experience what the world had to offer. Eventually, we went our separate ways. He joined the military, and I became an engineer. Hmm. Yeah, will you tell us? Well, turned out he was a natural-born trooper was even handpicked to take part in a super secret experiment. It wasn't long after that we lost contact. By the time we reconnected, he'd already put that life behind him. What experiment? Have to ask him, though I doubt he'd tell you. Certainly won't tell me, at any rate. Whatever they did to him, though, has something to do with his condition. I just know it. I called it. I noticed his eyes immediately, dude. He's been to doctor after doctor, but all the tests come back inconclusive. So I'm digging through old Republic archives, looking for something that might help, something a doctor might overlook. Just hope I find what he needs soon. Not through any shop, that's for sure. It's out of production, so you'll have to make it yourself. So, first things first, the transmuter chip. Once you got that squared away, it should be as easy as popping in the materials you need. Piece of cake, right? Step one was scoring a transmuter chip, which you did. So now we put that baby to work. As for the ingredients, you'll need to bag the Quetzalcoatl, this rare bird, to get what you need. Huh? Oh, you already <laughs> procured the stuff? Well, aren't you an efficient one? In that case, only thing left to do is to transmute the part. You know what's funny is I should have transmuted the part before that, because that's so funny that like there's actual dialogue that's prepared for that to doing it in a different order. She's like, oh, you did that already. Oh, OK, cool. Windmills counting on you, friend. I should have uh, I should have just transmuted it. Done it all in one go. Just, oh. You already did everything. Awesome. Now that is a quality design. No Shinra knockoffs can compare to Republic ingenuity. Okay, time to see if she works. Let's get this windmill a rolling. Nice. It's amazing. Incredible. Wow. The blades are spinning. Actually spinning. What a sight. Oh, I can't wait to find out how much power it can generate. I wish Brody was here for this. He'd have loved to see these windmills running again. Maybe one day. Well, anyway, thank you. You've helped me fulfill a dream of mine. Guess you're heading back to calm? What's the plan? When you see Broden, you tell him, hurry.
hurry up and get better, would ya? You got a whole wide world to see. Or something along those lines. Okay, report to Broden. I wish Broden was here for this. Give me that material. Cleansing material, I think that's Esuna, right? Give that to Aerith. Yes, Poisoner, Esuna, and Resist. We have to level that up so we can be cured of frog. Wonderful. Um, let's head back to Calm because we can also return to Snaps at the same time. Complete this little quest line. Calm is currently on high alert. Hey there. Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite you get a new camera filter. You did me a good turn, so I did you one too. I convinced the association to make you a member. Of course, you're starting on the bottom rung, but you'll work your way up. And the more locations you find, the faster you'll climb that ladder. You are now an amateur photographer. Okay. So you get uh, photo mode things added to your settings. Can they add a free camera instead of being anchored to a character? Can they add expressions and poses and, you know, probably the bare minimum for photo mode at this point? That's so. <laughs> if Mildred's happy, I'm happy. She said you've got a world to see. <laughs> she just wants an excuse to travel, but I am overdue for a vacation. Think I've been working myself too hard lately. Rest would do you good. What is this terrible scent? It's reminiscent of Hojo's lab. <sighs> it's time. Time to go. To leave. <clears throat> You okay? It's just the degradation. Every soldier's got to make their peace with it. Now you know why I can't see any old doctor. You're a soldier too, aren't you? Ex-soldier, actually. Didn't mean to scare you. The symptoms aren't always the same. And who knows? You might be one of the lucky ones. Right. Just don't take your youth for granted. All right. You only get one shot at life. And you can't let Shinra take it from you. You can't let them win. That ominous music. And then the... Yay! Quest complete jingle. Mmm. I was like, look at his eye color, baby. Those are Marco eyes. Um, I want to know, like, Bruden's history now in, like, Shinra as a soldier. That's cool. I wonder if any of that is in the first soldier, because I played a little bit of it. You can see that on the channel. Uh, but it's also a mobile gacha game, and that is annoying, because I would like to experience an actual storyline that's in the lore of Seven with this first soldier stuff, but then they just, they mess it up. <laughs> they mess it up. For the bombings in Midgar is believed People to love to spread Midgar. rumors about soldiers. Security forces Don't you pay them any mind. Of the town. During which time it was What's really surprising lockdown, about this and kind of uh, interesting is sure Cloud knows about Marco eyes, but he can't identify them wow. in someone. He also, it's funny where that dude's like, you're a soldier, aren't you? It's like, could you tell by the uniform? <laughs> uh, that That's always the funniest thing that stood out to me about Cloud's uh, appearance is um, he literally is dressed as soldier. And there's never an attempt to change that into Advent Children. And um, yeah, it just makes me laugh. Like, running around Midgar, running around the Shinra building, sporting soldier gear, sporting the Buster Sword that belonged to two notable uh, soldier members. And everyone's like, yeah, that guy. <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> 
that dude. And then most people in Shinra don't bat an eye. It's just one of those things. Uh, anyway, regardless, this is where we will be bringing our episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to a close. We did some incredible stuff today, a lot of things, and I think that looking at this map here, next episode uh, we should clear the grasslands. We'll do uh, these locations up here, find the other summoning stone by doing the other Rem the Tower, uh, and that should allow us to take on Titan as well, which will be very fun. We'll get the Titan summoning materia. So very much looking forward to proceeding with the game after we complete the grasslands with the last remaining uh, intel to gather. And then we'll see what happens after that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time.